Well, hello, 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 hello. I don't know if anybody ever watched the increasingly poor decisions of Todd Margaret starring David Cross, but it was really great. And he always would, he was living, he was an expat living in England and he would always go, well, hello, 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 hello. In that, uh, you know, uh, I don't know if you would say in English in general, the English, how about that? The English, when they, they refer to Americans doing a very poor English accent, it's known as the Dick Van Dyke. It's known as the the Dick Van Dyke. Uh, <laughs> hello, 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 hello. What's this? Oh, it's a salute. I salute you back. That's interesting. Uh, so, you know, we've already covered Henry Rollins. We, not Henry Rollins. We covered, you know, Johnny Rotten versus Marky Ramone. We've done it. In fact, I don't think you can see it anymore. I think it's only if you're a YouTube member, if you're a YouTube member, or if you are a Patreon, I believe you can see that episode. That episode is not public anymore. I think, I think maybe it is. Try searching for it. We did a, we did a long breakdown of this 24 minute video. However, I did not know that Henry Rollins talked about the incident uh, later on. How about that? In in 2019, this happened in 2019. And then he, he actually talked about it at like a Q&A. And God bless somebody had their cell phone out and just gave us, you know, uh, a, an, an excellent recording capturing Henry Rollins' thoughts on the whole debacle. So for those who are not familiar, let me fill you in if you are not super familiar. And I want to tell you, before I continue, we are doing a special t-shirt giveaway okay here at the from his channel we're giving away free t-shirts if you can answer the special trivia question that i will be giving at the end of the episode here are the rules and regulations right now i'm going to be doing a live show every single day i'm going to be giving away a t-shirt at the end of every episode i will ask my trivia question you will send your answer to fromismail at gmail.com and the first person to answer correctly will be the winner. You give me your name, your address, and your t-shirt size. If you are outside of the continental United States, you will have to cover shipping and handling. Join us night after night where I will be doing t-shirt giveaways. Who doesn't like a free t-shirt? I'm not going to go easy on any of you. I'm going to ask really hard questions. So be prepared. Okay. Okay. So everybody knows what the deal is. I have my question already in my noggin. I'm not going to go easy on you. We'll save that for the end of the episode. Let's continue on. So what do you guys remember about this situation? Johnny Rotten versus Marky Ramone. Two, technically two Hall of Rock and Roll Hall of Famers, although Johnny Rotten and the rest of the pistols very infamously uh, in in perfect pistol in a perfect pistol way uh, declined their induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, although you know kind of I don't know kind of posturing in a weird kind of way I don't know I thought it was a lot more genuine that the Ramones accepted the lot that was offered to them. In any case, you got two Hall of Famers here sitting on like a Q and A punk panel after the screening of a documentary that they're that they are both a part of. It's it was it was distributed by Epics uh, John Varvados and Iggy Pop were executive producers on it. And everybody that was on the panel is in the documentary. And there's just you know, one of those Q&A panels, panel things, except nobody was expecting the uproar that they got where Marky Ramone and Johnny Rotten went at it over who invented punk, kind of. That's, that's, a, gross, that's a gross simplification of it. And we went, like I said, we dived so deeply into this video. We went over it. It was it was like a two and a half hour episode where we 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 went through it and we talked about the history and it was so much fun. And like I said, I'm not sure. I keep telling you that it's not available. I don't think it's available unless you're a Patreon or a, or a YouTube member. I'm going to tell you right now if it is, and then you can you can go and and check it out if you want to. I don't think that you can. In any case. There was a big dust up and Henry Rollins was sitting there. He was witness to it. So what we're going to do, actually, 
We're going to look at it again, but we're not going to look at the whole thing. We're just looking at it for context, okay? We're not going to do a, a whole exploration of the 24-minute video. You can watch it at your leisure. It's on YouTube. But instead, hold on. Let me just check to see if this Marky Ramon thing, this Marky Ramon, Johnny Rotten thing is here. Uh, yeah, that's only available for YouTube members and Patreons. I believe Patreons. So if you are a Patreon or a YouTube member, you can watch this video here, I'm putting it a link. If you want the full kit and caboodle, that's the link right there in the comments. But if you're not a YouTube member, you're not going to be able to access it. Okay. Just so you're aware, whatever. In any case, um, so this is the setup. They're all sitting on the panel and Johnny Rotten is drunk and taking control of everything. And th this is his interaction with Henry. So let's, let's go straight to the tape. And again, we're not looking at the full tape. We're just going to sort of scrub around because we want to look at Henry's response to it all. That's what we really want to take a look at. So here is here's the 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 thing. Thank and again, thank God someone captured this on video that it's here for posterity that we could watch it for all time. So we're, let's we're just going to jump into it. You know, uh, hopefully, did I share the audio though? Let's just uh, sorry. My mistake. I just want to make sure that, yeah, okay, that's good. Everything's good. As we say, Hakol Beseder. Everything is is copacetic now. All right, here we go. They they've just started the panel, and here is Johnny Rotten uh taking control. Look at Henry Rollins' expressions here. And that was punk. And at the same time, you've got um reggae running around it, Rastafari and Nazi Dread. <laughs> and Bob Marley's <laughs> having to deal with Nazi Dread. That was a complete insult. Just Johnny Rotten being the uh hey, what's going on, Ron? How are you? How are you, sir? See you tonight, potentially. Um that's, you know, <laughs> Johnny Rotten playing old man punk and forcing everybody to sit and listen to his yarns and Henry Roll. Everybody's embarrassed. Look at everybody's body language on this panel. It's so him, but he turned it upside down. And that's what we did, too. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Side down. Absolutely. So he's just talking about how great he is and how the pistols were so great and yada, yada, yada. Not saying the pistols weren't great. Of course, they were they deserved their place. And this, that, and the other. So, Look at Henry Rollins. One thing I was wondering, John, John Varvatos, uh, you know, you made that there's so many different. John Varvatos, of course, he did the, he, his store now occupies CBGB's 315 on the Bowery. And John Barbados, you know, preserved a lot of the walls. Really great. Opinions in here, uh, like John's here. Uh, look, look at Henry's face. Look at Henry's face. Uh, what, what did you learn about punk from uh, from from working on this? Yeah, I'm going to skip. I'm going to skip over him. Yeah, can you tell him? The fella next to you. Look at then look at Henry's. His eyebrows go up like a puppy dog. Look at this. This is so brilliant. And you know what the best part is? Uh, you would imagine that Henry Rollins, and again, this is retread from when we did this last time. You have to imagine Henry Rollins has probably like rehearsed what he would say in his mind to Johnny Rotten after what he's about to tell him, you know, a hundred times. Now here he is afforded the opportunity to tell this dude off. Listen to what he says. Look at this. Watch. This is so great. Uh-oh. What did I just do? What did I just do? Here we go. Ready? Your pal from you down the left right there, right behind you. Oi, fella next to you. Can you tell him? <laughs> Henry, Henry's here. Henry. Henry. <laughs> Henry. <laughs> he gives them the salute. He gives them the salute, man. We ain't never met before. No, sir. No, we ain't, have we? All right. You've said silly things, but excellently good things, too. Yes. And you call Black Flag a bunch of suburban risk kids, and we want to tear your ears off. So he just, like, he straight up confronts him. And he loved the way that the way that he pulls his arm. Did you see that? He pulls his arm towards Henry so that Henry can use the mic. Total boss move. Total boss move. Like, I'm not one of those guys that reads into alpha bullshit, alpha this, alpha that. Sigma this, Sigma that. But that was alpha, what he just did. Really, truly. <laughs> it, yes, I did. But I didn't like the fucking music. It was boring. And, I really <laughs> and, and you know, and, and at least Johnny Rotten is copy to it. But Henry was like, yeah, we wanted to rip your ears I, off. You know, bang, 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 bang. It's like... 
That's Johnny Rotten's assessment of hardcore punk rock from L.A. Bang, 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 bang. When uh, Sex Pistols came to you, you ain't heard anything that fucking good and you know it. Oh, my God. All right. So that's Henry Rollins. That's the beginning, right? I'm not. We're now going to skip over. Now we have now we see. Marky Ramon is, look at Marky Ramon stewing. I mean, just stewing and seething with anger is Marky Ramon or annoyance or whatever. Like just in contempt, he's in contempt for, uh, he has such contempt for Johnny Rotten and Johnny Rotten just, just making a fool out of himself, drunk off his arse. A lot of angst. As Vivian used to say, uh, fashion is a passion. I yes. remember, but she stole that. So there's, so there's that. And then finally, where does he speak? Let's see if we can get to uh, Me, Henry. The Sex Pistols album, the first Clash album, the first Ramones. So even there, Henry's pretty classy. He still, you know, he gives the props, the Pistols props where, where, where they are due because all these guys revered the Pistols. All of them. The Pistols were so influentially huge. We don't, that doesn't need to be said. We, we know this. Nose and Strummer stopped. There's Duff McKagan. I feel like Duff, like we know that Duff is like, uh, has a punk roots, but like, I don't know. There's just something goofy about him to me. I, he always kind of found him goofy, although he is playing in Iggy's band right now, The Losers. He's doing a great job. Okay, here's here's where Marky comes in. And Marky, you know, Marky is, you know, for Johnny Rotten's pedigree as being the, the, the pistol singer, Marky Ramon has a pedigree that was is just so um is equally legendary. Played drums for Jane County, Wayne County, Jane County. Play drums on the Blank Generation, the Richard Hell album. I mean, Richard Hell is one of the most. Inf talking about all the influence, Malcolm McLaren, all of the stuff that he would do with the Pistols, all of that came from from Richard Hell, right? And his band, the Voidoids. And who was the drummer for the Voidoids? Marky friggin' Ramon, man. You know, so there's that. Here we go. Now you have Marky finally speaks up. Every single Hi, Marky. Hey, Marky, you want to uh, go? How are you? Yeah, Marky Ramon. <laughs> Well, I just want to say that in 1975-74 at CBGB's and of course in Detroit, that's when punk started. So if it wasn't for that first Ramones album, punk would not have been solidified. So there's Marky like staking his claim as Marky Ramone of the Ramones the last living Ramone besides you know, CJ and Richie are still there, but like he, th those guys are not, those guys are not like active Ramones. Like Marky Ramone is out there, like, like espousing the legacy of the Ramones. You know what I mean? Um, he's out there representing for his fallen brothers. And so he's doing his, he he's making sure that history is marked and membered you know, as in as it should be in this venue uh, to counteract, you know, uh, Johnny Rotten's Johnny Rotten. He's a blowhard. He's such a blowhard in this. And that was in CBGB's along with Blondie, the Heartbreakers and yeah. before that, the New York Dolls. And then the Ramones went to England and they started their punk scene. And then the rest is history. And I'm not going to argue about anything. Thank God. <laughs> thank God we got the music. Oh yeah, and that's which is good, too. Thank God we got the music. I'm not here to argue, even though he's really trying to get his last word in right most important thing doesn't matter where it comes from la and yes it doesn't matter where it comes from but he's like it doesn't matter where it comes from dot 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 but we did it first and he's not wrong new york england this is the best music that was ever out there and it still is and i just want to i just want to say one thing it has nothing to do with what was going on over here on the screen Donald Trump, fuck off. <laughs> I love him. I love Marky Ramon. You know, Marky Ramon can be kind of goofy in certain ways, certain times. Sometimes I don't agree with some of the stuff that he says and does, but God bless Marky Ramon, man. He's a great, what a great dude. I I'm so glad that he's still around just being Marky Ramon. Just, just excellent, 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 excellent. So then Johnny, of course, let's see what Johnny says. I think Johnny didn't like what he said about Trump because because Johnny Rotten's like, or at least he was a Trump supporter, which is, you know, g just g so goofy when you think about what the Sex Pistols claimed to stand for. You know what I mean? 
something for Is everybody. Is there anything in the Ramones that was remotely political? No, we were a fun band. Right we were now. a fun band. We wanted <laughs> really? people to have you fun. Know, fun. So the thing is so that why, why there's something for everybody, from? and that's what's important. You you know, know, it was, it's amazing how these two forceful personalities are able to like kind of, you know, uh, they speak over each other. Like, you know, Marky is so like sturdy and solid in what he's saying. But then Johnny Ramo Johnny Rotten, not Johnny Ramon, Johnny Rotten is, is so drunk and so uh, overpowering with his voice. It's like they just. The push and the pull is is something to behold. So every band was different. Every band had some to say and some to offer. I love my world, right? That's it. And the one thing I've always known is blah 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 I've blah always blah. Always known this about me: don't fucking trust a politician. And if right, it's except when you when you love the fact that you love Donald Trump, whatever. I, I don't. It's nothing. Not for us to talk about. Right? I cannot speak. Trollicis. Um, I just want to say I that I came to uh, Crazy Tiger. I don't want to. I don't want to uh, braze over the L7 chick. Um, but mid mid late seventies. This is like super fun. And every band had at least Here you go. all this stuff. And there were other bands. Wait, Let's not forget them. Yeah. And you know that that was. Like you know, uh, that in, is in, actually, in Trump, you know, that there, is, there listen, were other bands. Wait, Look, you see John Vervedos tapping Johnny Rotten like, yo, chill out, bro. Just chill out. That, that has is exactly dead right. Like that love. you have to understand. Henry Rollins, again, look at him. Just just wishes he could crawl into a hole and hide himself. In the time seven of and punk, seven is, we seven had and seven variables. Is, talk, talk, music machine. Seven and seven is. I mean, that's that's jo that's Marky Ramone just trying to put just stick it to him back. You know what I mean? By Arthur Lee, yeah, those band, th those songs were definitely the pre. M Marky Ramone is trying to turn around a bad situation where Johnny Rotten is holding everybody hostage. You know, element to it. Nowadays, that oh, fake. step and song. Here we go. Ready? Of, so of songs. Look, and <laughs> because they had great, great hits, they had good stuff then. Fuck so off. we Ramones that up, <laughs> and we did. Do you want to dance? Shut up, Let's dance. And that he tells him. He tells him to shut up. Stepping stone, oh, stepping stone, stepping stone. Keep saying stepping stone because Johnny Rotten covered stepping stone with the pistols. Stone, don't talk. Stepping rubbish. stone, you play, you did step. I need stone. no cover of stepping no. stone. Yeah, and turn stepping stone. I mean, I just, I, this is, this is such a, such a video. I mean, what a video this is. The okay. I right, know. Who could have imagined this? Who had this, you know, I love that phrase. Who had this on their bingo card? Who had this on their bingo card in the year 2019? Oh, Wait, yeah. okay. Don't argue with me. Oh, yeah. I'm not the enemy, okay? So punk. <laughs> you weren't even so the punk. fucking so punk. So you're punk. a Johnny come lately. <laughs> yeah, okay. No, you're a Johnny come lately. Hey, wait. It's true. It's true. Of the two Johnny come latelys, it's actually Johnny Rotten who's a Johnny come lately, but we'll get into that in a little bit. That has to do with my trivia question, in fact. Uh, it's. It's a sticky business. It's sticky business. And you know what else is sticky? Riot Stickers. That's right. Riot Stickers is the official sponsor of the From His Channel. In fact, that's a place where we're getting these T-shirts printed up for this T-shirt giveaway. Uh, we're doing a special promotion additionally on the side with RiotStickers.com where you can get a thousand stickers. Oh, excuse me. That's the seltzer coming back up. You can get a thousand stickers for $79. That's seven cents per sticker. These stickers are printed on vinyl, which makes them waterproof. They have a UV coating, which helps protect them from the sun. You can't go wrong with RiotStickers.com or a big, big gulp of seltzer. And then you're doing seltzer burps during your commercial promotion. So let's play the little theme song. By the way, the link to that promotion is down in the description, uh, riotstickers.com backslash from us. You'll find the link in the description. It's the only place where you're going to find this promotion. And now the less than Jake theme song.
Okay, and we are back. We're talking Marky Ramon versus Johnny Rotten and Henry Rollins' thoughts on it. But first, you know, we have to look at the video for a little bit of context for when we hear Henry talking about it. Here we go. Hey, if it wasn't for the fucking Ramones, you'd be no way. You'd be fucking doing fish and chips somewhere. <laughs> Listen, uh, I love the remote. Yeah, you love the remote. But I love okay. status quo more. Uh, good for you. <laughs> I, I, I believe you. I love it's just like that New York punk swagger, that that New York, that New York swagger. I think I think Marky's from Brooklyn originally. That Brooklyn toughness versus, you know, uh uh Johnny Rotten's yeah, I London. I believe you. <laughs> Look at Henry, and look at Henry. Henry is just like he's laughing. For Danita. Uh, All right. Yes. Come you, bring your you fucking album with Keeps an going. original Ramon, but he's propagating. Oh. <laughs> in the in the in the dark, got? there there's there's uh, John uh, Jett The problem with this agenda is that he's oh, propagating, I have a question and he's Danita. not even an original Ramon, but he's propagating oh, well, this but idea. But I did the Blank the Generation the album with Richard Hell, and, and, and you took his image, and all you guys took Richard Hell's image. That's yep. all you did. The, That's the, true. Yeah, and you're. That's so true. So he's trying to get he's trying to get Marky's goat by saying he's not an original Ramon, but he's like Marky just fires right back, you know. Then he's got Johnny Rotten's got nothing. We uh, Marky Ramon is the clear winner of this battle. Still coming, you, you, you fucking and that's all you fucking did was take Richard Hell's image. They did the blank all generation right. album, right. and that's all, right. all you did. All right, that's all, all right. you did. Oof. <laughs> Brutal. All right, let's drag ass. Big for me. Like the end. Look, he stands up. He stands up. Hello, Johnny Roy. I never did the walk. He, he didn't. He did. The, he just talked. He didn't do the walk. He went down the street protesting. Like the end. Look at you. That's you it. You look like right? heavy metal fucking. Uh, whatever the fuck. Right. Okay. A, Sit the fuck. He said Mark Ramon looks like a heavy metal reject. Down. This is add. so punk rock, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. What, what punk has been inspiring you? Uh, Let's see what. what you Look, they they had they took him off. Did he go go off? I didn't even realize that. Did he? In, in the interest of wrapping up. Look, look. There's Henry. Henry is taking video now, to for posterity. You know he's got it. You know what's what gives you? He's got Johnny Rotten in his face. Imagine being like a young punk rocker, like before you become famous in Black Flag, and like. Years later, you have Johnny Rotten in your face and you're recording with your iPhone. What so gives rare. me the what? right to so be rare. up here? What gives you hope for punk? What? Like, let's ask the next one. Death grips. Um, look, at, look at Duff trying his hardest to just... You know, there's oh, a whole... Duff. Tip little... No. Let's end with... Per song. And called the cable right. tie in punk rock right now. So here's Henry. If I can have like just 20 seconds. Um, <laughs> one of the best things that's happening in punk rock right now is you have a lot of women in bands. And uh, a lot of bands in Australia that are worth checking out. There's a great band called BB and the Blips and uh, a band called the Cable Ties. And they have fantastic angry women singers. And uh, there's a, a great Australian metal band called High Tension. And I believe the singer is by way of... Taipei or sing. Yeah, all right, whatever. So he's just he's and that's it. That's the video. So now here's what happens. So sometime later, Henry is doing one of his talks. He's doing one of his Q and A talks, and here's what he has to say about the evening. And it's just awesome how how lucky we are that someone recorded this because there's no, I mean, there's there's no commentary. There's no commentary of Henry Henry talking about this. So this question asked about the punk rock documentary I was in. I think it's called Punk Rock. Uh, I have, I've asked to be in every music documentary there is because I'm still alive and I can finish a sentence. And so I have stopped. Doing That's not entirely true. Everybody wants Henry Rollins in their punk rock documentary because, you know, it gives them some sort of credibility. And Henry Rollins has been in every punk rock documentary. It's like, you know, it's kind of tired. Documentaries because they drive me crazy. And so I said, sorry, let me take that back because they drive me crazy. And, and so I have stopped doing documentaries because they drive me crazy. And so I said, yes, one last time. 
to be in the punk rock documentary because it was being executive produced by John Barbados, the guy who dresses Iggy, and Iggy. So they asked me. Iggy is my hero. John is my pal. I when, when Iggy Pop asks you to be in a documentary, you say yes. I like them both very much. So I said yes. P.S. This time around, you guys have to pay me because I'm tired of doing all this stuff for free, pouring out my beaker of knowledge and getting nothing back. And they said, we're, we, we're going to pay everyone anyway. I'm like, oh, good. And so Heidi worked out the deal. I did the interview. And then the documentary is about to come out. You know, most most inter most documentaries, people are not paid for their interviews. I mean, that's not how in general, I mean, it, it can happen. But that this is not how it typically goes. <clears throat> and so they're having some kind of press thing in Los Angeles. I am asked to be there and be on a panel, be interviewed by someone from Rolling Stone, a nice guy whose name I'm forgetting. And so on the panel... It's uh, me, Duff McKagan of Guns N' Roses, a nicer guy you'd be hard-pressed to find. Uh, Johnny Rotten, uh, Marty Ramon, um, I'm forgetting which member of L7, a really amazing woman, and um, a few, uh, and John Barbados is there, and, uh, and Marty Ramon, and a few other people. And so the panel starts, and it's gonna be cool. People <laughs> will ask us questions, we'll be prompted by the curator, and soon as, the curator was wearing a Who Killed Marilyn shirt, by the way. As it starts, Johnny Rotten gets up and starts yelling and running around the room. He is completely drunk, and he destroyed <laughs> the entire thing. Hello, I'm Johnny Rotten, and he wouldn't let anyone talk. And, and Marky Ramon stupidly swallows the bait and gets into an insult contest with... Marky Ramon, you're, you're like, I like the Ramones, but I like status quo better. I'm like, he's kind of funny. And so you see, <laughs> you see photos of Johnny Rotten running around this room. So what's kind of amazing is whenever this, this also took place in 2019, was the, had that clip gone on, had, had someone uploaded the full, the full 24 minute video at the panel is Henry, is this being recorded? Is Henry telling this story to people who aren't, haven't even seen the video yet? And everyone said that he was very insulting to the woman from uh, L7, not cool. And also he burned Iggy. Like someone said, so what, what? Iggy put this thing together. You don't like Iggy? He's like, not particularly. I, I like that. Iggy means so much to me. And the, the Sex Pistols come. Yeah, yeah, and if it wasn't for friggin' Iggy, I mean, Iggy, Iggy made the pistols, man. He made all of them. I mean, the, everybody, you know, it's funny. They always like the 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 branch that branch that branched one of the branches that branches it all together is the pistols and the and the Ramones. They both were Stooges fans. Pistols covered a Stooges song, no fun. And the, the Sex Pistols covered a Stooges song, no fun, and a great version of it. And I almost got up. I'm like, man, like, do I really want to knock out Johnny Lyon in front of all these people? I'm, I'm good at knocking men out. It would have been really easy, but I, I felt... So was Henry, did Henry really think in his mind that he was going to knock out Johnny Rotten? Obviously not. I mean, this is Henry telling a, you know, this is Henry telling a big fish story. You know, Henry's a great storyteller. And, you know, this is clearly an exaggeration because when you look at that video, Henry is just like he's like a schoolboy, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't think, I don't know. And Henry, listen, that's not to say Henry is, I mean, Henry's, Henry's one of the toughest, toughest there was in the eighties. That's not to say he's not a tough guy. I just, I don't know if that's, I feel like this is part of the, the, the allure of the story that he would knock out Johnny Ramon in that moment. But I'm sure it crossed his mind. Um, in you know, I definitely crossed Mark and Ramon's mind. It's interesting how he categorizes that Marky Ramon took the bait. He doesn't. He seems to have a little contempt for Marky Ramon, just in that, that nothing, just in the way that he he sort of you know jum, jumbles the words in his mouth. I don't know. I could be wrong about that. I'm so sorry for him for this overweight drunken for this overweight crazy. But I, I felt so sorry for him, for this overweight, drunken buffoon, the guy who gave you the Metal Box album, like a perfect record, the second mm. Kill album. Sex Pistols, not you no know, bad songs. And there's a lot of good public image music. Like, this guy was a hero to me. And he was like this drunk, pathetic slob. And he brought the, like, the thing ended, like, in 11 minutes, it was over because no one could get a word in edgewise. 
And finally, uh, he comes over to me, like we're longtime buddies, and he sticks his hand out to shake my hand. And I'm like, okay, and I just grab his two fingers. Yes, yes, he did. This, see, yes, he did, and it's friggin' awesome. Henry, this was such a G move, what you did. And held on to them. And he's trying to get away from me, I'm like, nope. And I, just, I have a pretty good grip strength when I'm angry. And he finally got his two hands. I'm sure it's on film somewhere. And then he comes over to me and he like walks over like he like he, it's all just a joke. He's like, Yeah, I'm Johnny Rotten. Mate, it's always it's great to meet you. Finally we meet. I'm like, oh, yeah. I'm like, okay, it's good to meet you too. He's like, Yeah, yeah, we'll talk some other time. I'm like, and then he goes back to work. <laughs> like, like, so it's all it's all an act. And at one point I said, uh, you used to call Black Flag a bunch of suburban rich kids. And he goes, yeah, and I called you a lot worse, too. And people were like, I guess. It was just one of the weirdest nights of my life. And his manager, who apparently is also his lover, uh, Johnny Rambo, came up to Heidi and I after <laughs> we were waiting for our car. And, uh, you know, the limo's coming, to, the town car's coming to get us. And he came up to me. And, like, he's basically Johnny's babysitter. Wow. That's crazy. It's it is really interesting to hear his POV after the fact. And he came up and went, uh, sorry about that. And I'm oh like, my god. Whatever, man. And he goes, Well, it is what it is. And we shook hands and he walked away. And uh, I had dinner with Duff uh McKagan right before this tour started. We talked about that night because we're both sitting on the on the far end, just looking at Johnny Rotten make an idiot out of himself. And we're both punk rockers. I mean, Duff comes from punk rock. His band used to open for Black Flag. And so we both kind of went, you still have this record? He's like, yeah, I still kind of do. And I have public image posters on my wall. Did you keep them? Yeah, I, I guess I will, but how sad. Like, what's Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's a good surmisation, you know, apart from the moment where he says, I'm going to punch him out. You weren't going to punch him out. But I mean, it's just interesting to hear. And then, like, again, like how shocking it must have been to then see the video, the full video for Henry. That's what I wanted to hear him talk about. And quite clearly, I think if it was, maybe he was pretending that he didn't see it. But because if he did, if it was out there, maybe he would comment and be like, you know, you can watch it or he would make mention of it. I don't know. Let's not end up like him. Yeah. So, uh, that happened. And so, like, let's not end up like him. Yeah. So, uh, that happened. And so, those are my notes. So, thank you for the notebook. Thank you very much, Henry. Thank you. Uh, okay, so. Man, what a, I mean, what a, what a situation, huh? What a situation. Um, but it's interesting that, like I said, it's interesting to hear his his POV on it. And, you know, yeah, it is. It is sad. He's also he was dealing with a lot. I will say Johnny Rotten, not to excuse his behavior. You know, his wife was dying and I believe she did pass away. His wife was dying and that had put him in a very bad place where, yeah, I guess he. it's amazing. You had a babysitter that looked after him. I feel like a lot of famous people got to have babysitters in that way. Shape, form. In any case, we've come to the end now. It's time for the trivia question, which is going to be Sex Pistols themed. Let me give you the rules one more time. If you're not here with us at the beginning of the episode, we're doing a free t-shirt giveaway contest where I'm doing trivia questions. All you got to do is follow these rules. I'm going to be doing a live show every single day. I'm going to be giving away a t-shirt. At the end of every episode, I will ask my trivia question. You will send your answer to fromismail at gmail.com, and the first person to answer correctly will be the winner. You give me your name, your address, and your t-shirt size. If you are outside of the continental United States, you will have to cover shipping and handling. Join us night after night where I will be doing t-shirt giveaways who doesn't like a free t-shirt i'm not gonna go easy on any of you i'm gonna ask really hard questions so be prepared okay here is okay here is my question Ugh, question uh the pistols when they were forming when the pistols were becoming a band or when the pistols were you know whatever in their developmental stages um, Johnny Rotten was the final piece that made the, the pistols, the pistols him, you know, putting him into the mix 
as the lead singer and vocalist made that band what it was. However, Johnny Rotten was not the first vocalist considered. Now, I mean, there's a lot of, there's a lot of, you know, there were a couple of, there was a, you know, listen, I think there was a time where, where uh, Steve, Steve Jones was going to be the singer and they realized that he couldn't sing. There wasn't, he's not, uh, Johnny Rotten is not the only person that would have fronted the pistols. There is another incredibly famous, noteworthy person who was supposed to be the singer of the pistols. When Malcolm and Vivian, who were helping to put the pistols together, they had invited someone to come down to audition because they believed that they were going to be the pistols new lead singer who was that send me an email from us mail at gmail.com with the answer who was supposed to be the pistol singer before johnny rotten that is the question okay uh it's someone incredibly noteworthy it's kind of a trick question but not really and if you know your punk history it's very 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 searchable on the internet so there you go send your emails somebody's going to win a t-shirt. Um, thank you again for joining us. Like I said, if you want to see that full two hour version of us breaking down the Johnny, uh, Johnny rotten versus Mark Ramon video, become a Patreon or a YouTube member. Peace hair grease. We will see you next time.